Okay, so this is part two of what we have already in the Portland Art Museum. These are three George Innes's. So I'm in the American 19th century. They have segregated the American and the European paintings. And you can see that these are lovely luminous paintings and they're much more interesting. And here we have a marble. I hope this doesn't screw up your whole thing. I don't know who made this, but it's a girl listening to something or other. Somebody called the Ralph Rogers, and it's Nydia, the blind flower girl of Pompeii. I have no idea what that's all about, but it's from uh, 1855, so it's fairly early. And here we have William Trost Richards, this very lonely seascape. And up here at Bierstadt, we're very big on cows here at the Portland Art Museum back in the day. That's from 1864. And William Morris Hunt uh, from 1876. So we have a pretty good representation of the landscape school. This is Ralph Blakelock, uh, Cheyenne Encampment from 1873. And here we go. Um, a portrait from 1851, that's groovy. And then this great big mountain, which is quite nice and pink, and that's a Bierstadt too. It's a rather restrained Bierstadt. He often was a lot fiery, or if you could remember the fiery things. But as I kind of look around, there's that ooh, kind of scary picture of a girl with a, um, with a Newfoundland dog. And another sculpture, we all recognize this sort of lily Langtree hairdo with the little bangs. And then here we've got uh, William Sartain. So already we've moved into the 20th century, but this, paging Caspar David Friedrich and uh, Arnold Bachland. This is the romantic landscape. Let me pull back on that so you can see the whole blue sky. Um, so we very quickly move away from uh, the landscapes here, and we're into genre painting. Here's a Thomas Eakins. As we know, he was one of the first people to paint sportsmen rowing. And Homer Dodge Martin, again, a romantic landscape. Look at those poplars on the right. And then George DeForest Brush. And this is a kind of a antique fantasy of some kind here. And this won a prize, you see how important prizes are in 1888. So that kind of gives you a good idea. Oh, here's a murky little Albert Pinkham writer. And there's me, hello, hi, how are you doing? And then this is kind of an imitation 